everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my uh, Barrow Legion playthrough as Kemler. Well, well, we've expanded quite a bit. This is probably going to be a little bit of a building ourselves back up playthrough, getting ourselves into a position to expand again. What I really actually want to do next is probably want to actually try and expand over into the High Elf territory, which I know isn't perfect for me, but they are probably one of my biggest threats here, guys. So anyway, um, we're getting all the better higher level buildings as well for us, which don't unlock things until the next level of them. But um, we've also got some really good recruitment options up in um, Corone itself, where where we want to get them done. We're going to obviously have all of my cav in some of the um, under my uh, red uh, blood dragon lords once they're leveled up, because they get all the all the bonuses for them and the reductions in cost, which is huge, so. But obviously, the way we're doing it at the moment, guys, we're not doing massive... Um, we're not doing massive armies of... Um, sorry, we're doing mixed armies, basically, which is a bit of an odd one, but it works well for us. Oh, sorry about that, guys. But it should work. We're also friendly. We're friends with the High Elves, strangely enough. Um, I think next I'm actually going to move down and take the remainder of Cuscone. Or maybe even forcibly vassalize them. Um, something. I just want to get that bit of territory under my control. Um, and then once we've uh, once our peace treaty with Paravod is uh, gone, we'll do that. And we'll deal with them. Ooh, though, can I trust them? They're throwing themselves at the Wood Elves, which, again, I'm not that fussed by. I'm, I'm actually quite friends with the Wood Elves at the moment, so um, that's not a huge negative for us. I do need to keep an eye on the Pirates. The Pirates seem to be leaving me al alone enough, so... Nice, we're getting extra income from a lot of our buildings now as well. Uh, we probably want to work on a few more of those buildings. Oh! So Artois has leveled up, so we want to get that one. So these, I probably want to get a few more, because we're getting a buff on the income of, from them as well now. Um, let's grab a growth build. No, I need walls here, to be fair. You know what, I'm just going to walk through their territory. It's not like they're gonna do, they can do anything about it. You dare. Oh wow, there's a vampire uprising there, which could actually batter them back. Ooh, let's get him a corpse cart. I am also wary of the Empire, though I may end up getting into a position where I have to attack the Empire and take out... I mean, I could take Altdorf fairly quickly, to be fair. Altdorf itself would be quite hard, but it would be a very good strategic position for us to hold. Um, right, we're doing quite well here, actually. Um... Hmm. Ooh, extra campaign movement range. That said, I really like that. I'm going to keep pushing down this one for the moment. Um. Let's see, 
this is my blood dragon. So that's what we really want in the long run. And we also want that, which we unlock at rank 10. So next, because that's a huge, uh, you know, minus 50% upkeep for black knights. Um, is a really nice buff, as is this one, which gives him the ability to have an incredibly good army for very cheap, actually. Um, we've already buffed this one up. It does buff Mortis Engines. I really want to get into this second tree. Uh, that one might be useful long run. Oh, we're, we're liable to have some of those uh, in, in our army long run. So let's grab that. coming out. The elves are still there. As I said, I don't want to watch them. They, 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 they don't like me. They're not at war with me, but they are relatively powerful. I mean, I could probably fend them off, but I probably wouldn't want to be in multiple wars with them at once. Um, I'm a little concerned about here falling, to be fair, and about Norska falling there, because I actually want Norska to keep hold of there, because it keeps the Empire at bay. The Empire having pressure on it is always good. Ooh, we've got a population surplus in Pravam. Oh, sorry, no, it's been spent. Even, I've not got it. We're going to kill that guy. Slider Miser. Oh, he's trying to assassinate me. We will assassinate him right... Oh! Oh, they will pay for that. They assassinated my assassin. How dare they? <laughs> that was always going to happen. It's just annoying because she was quite decently leveled. Um, at some point, I will need to take out the Wood Elves, but that's going to be a, a carefully fought out campaign of I'm going to have every single... I'm going to have multiple stacks there ready to charge in and burn through their territory as quickly as possible. Because, um, yeah, I'm not insane. Hmm. Grab that, even though we're not necessarily going to be using your own army straight away. Find me, Grave Here. In fact, you can hit here to start to steal some tech to increase our tech research. How many turns do we have of that? Because it just provides a buff. Um, I can't see it. But it basically just provides a buff to the speed we're researching at. Hmm. 
That to be there is a good one. I'm going to start building this one up here because, as I said, here is going to be a recruitment place, even though we've got lots of good units here. Um, I do want to keep my recruitment levels at a relatively high, you know, sorry, my income relatively high because that allows me to build the buildings to increase my income, which allows me to have more armies, guys. So it sounds daft, but keeping everything, keeping my income high is a very important thing for us. Oh, no, don't you dare. Right, I need to lay siege to their next turn, otherwise Noctilus is going to take it from me. And I don't actually like the, I like Noctilus holding here. There's not much I can do about it. Yeah, the other thing I might do at some point, if I ever get a chance to, if I ever have enough units to spare, is I might, on my front line, say I end up at, at war with the Empire, or anybody around the Empire, is I may just allow, certainly around Altdorf, I may allow several armies of skeletons just to die and get burnt away to produce the big stacks of recruitment long run. So we can use lots of raised dead there if needs to be. Because that is always a very useful thing. Um, and that's the thing at the moment. is actually I could probably throw out a fairly decent secondary army very quickly. That said, our skellies are doing their job. I am fully expecting the Empire to come to war to, a, to be at war with us soon though. I mean, I, I, do I really want to be... I mean, I, I've, I've got a non-aggression pact with a Dreadfleet that, that led by the von, von Karstein, von, Nicholas von Karstein, who became Noctilus. But, uh, you know, for the moment, that's it, that'll do. Ooh, the Empire is confederating, and that is something else I want to be a little bit worried about, because uh, I don't want the Empire to become too powerful, actually. Your kind has wrought great suffering upon Bretonia. I shall see you repay. Ready. Commit, minions, commit. Obliterate. I mean, the dreadful, you can come help me, but. My bloodline calls. Night march! Gonna put the Terrorgeist in here. I, I think we'll manage this. Nice, good, solid victory for us there. Oh yeah, I meant to try and um never mind. I will listen to the groveling peon. Right, let's have a look. Blood up thirsty. Here. I'm told you want to talk. Yes. I'd usually negotiate with my sword, but today you are lucky. Hmm. Anyways, may trade with me. So I'm a bit surprised none of the Dark Elves particularly Fear like me. the Pirate Queen! Where are the Dark Elves? Morathi. I speak for the Druki. Favoured of the Witch King, Mother of Despair. Darkness comes. Only the Grail companions of old could hope to best me. Yet you would try with yes, words. Yes, we can't go to war with them just yet.
Anywhere else you can level up? Yes, here. That'll do. This way. Realistically, I suspect our next campaign should be the Empire, just to push in and capture this chunk of territory. Because it'll give us a nice bat buffer zone into the Empire and weaken the Empire massively. Magical reserves for you and for you. Just going straight down your auto. Oh supernatural horror make you cause terror. How oh, did we really not up our, blood, our um, blood dragon again? Okay, and now all these armies are going to go march straight to Pavion, other than the little freer stack, which is going to hold there. But here's already got some nice corruption, so it shouldn't be a map. Shouldn't be too bad. And at this point. We will have Bretonia. Bretonia is pretty much is has fallen, which is gold two for this campaign. However, I'm going to keep playing it for the moment because I'm really enjoying it. Um, there is definitely a different feel, and I can see why a lot of people are saying that they feel a little that the vampires are a little OP at the moment because this idea of being able to just walk around with stacks of free skellies, which I don't think you could do before, is a little OP. I mean, if you could do it before, I missed a trick massively and I'm a derp. Because that this is definitely how you should be playing. And yeah, so our next hit's potentially going to be the Empire. And then... Yeah. Let's just say this is going a bit better than my uh, vamp other vampire. I quite like, uh, other than the initial start, the initial start was quite tricky. Oh, now that is a worry. Because um, they do not like me. and They could hit Grungzint quite quickly, guys. Um, I do need to rename these settlements. I know I've got names. I do apologise. I'm just doing all these in a rush at the moment just to get, get a few done because I'm very busy next week. Uh, so this is actually recorded on the weekend. Um. I'll take the growth. There we go. At your service, the woods of Athaloran welcome you. The nice thing about these guys is by being friends with them all, is I can cause myself to be friends with them all. They give me military access. I'm not even going to be soft about this. Stands before me. Struggle. Forward. I will allow. Aid. For now. Necropolis awaits. She's a beautiful. They're very friendly with me, so I can get away with this. 
which gets us another guy, and let's see. I do quite like the idea of getting myself another blood dragon for their, for their buffs and to start leveling him up, because they are incredibly good lords. Um, though the extra public order, again, is useful. How many? So it is 12, so it doubles each time. Um, which one was it I was thinking of? Is that per turn, or is that just extra? I think that's 100 extra experience per turn, which isn't to be sniffed at. I'm going to go for that, because I want the level 3 of them, and we're going to get him actually recruited into an army. Um, so, because these guys I'm not so fussed by. So, actually, we're going to get our other blood dragon in. I need to look at what the Von Karstein bloodline does. Um, simply because once these guys are leveled up, they're going to give me far cheaper endgame armies, guys. Which is quite a big thing for us. I'm going to recruit a Von Karstein. He just looks awesome. I, I need to look at them. I need to look at a few of these, but uh, I'm not in any rush. We're going to... Recruit the Von Karstein here. I imagine this is going to be a fairly standard lord. So, ooh, makes fell bats free. Ooh. That's not bad. Um, gets a zombie dragon at no max level. Mist form. Okay, so, but other than that. Ooh, that's not bad. Summers of Aragulf, Wind of Death, Ray's dead. To be fair, it looks like he looks like a fairly uh, standard lord. So, while he will be tougher, he's a fairly standard lord. Um, so he's a bit of an all-rounder. Whereas these guys are definitely, you know, anti-infantry juggernauts. They're dual duelists to an extent. It is night. My thralls, track ahead! What? Hmm. Yeah, let's level you up so I can get some walls there. But this definitely seems the best way of getting the blood kisses is just to have a net of agents out battering the other agents. And it's actually, it's quite a good thing because it teaches you a bit more how to actually use your agents. Because I never really use my agents like this in most games. And that's probably bad of me. I probably should be doing this with my agents. This is so weird. And this is what kind of what I'm planning on doing in my, um, my Salt Spire. Salt Spite campaign is uh, taking all of Estelia and um, and I'm going for Galleon's Graveyard. We're going to capture here and all of the coastline down here as our sort of a homeland and then we're going to launch raids from there across the map, to be fair. But that's the beauty, so we can literally send out raiding fleets across the map. I mean, from there we can pillage all up the coast, even right into the Empire via the sea. Which is quite cool. Elves are going to war. Which is hardly surprising. I don't trust them both. They leave there. That's perfect. Cause there'll be another vampiric rebellion here very quickly. In fact, I'm going to start getting... I'm going to get my vampire lord down in here. So she can just start spreading corruption through the empire territories as well. In preparation for when we're going to have a little... Little sword here. So, so my lord can go through and talk to them. Obviously. Ooh, somebody's gonna die. Oh, and here they come back. I didn't realise that army was even still alive. Not that it's gonna make any difference here.
Take her lands. I don't want that. We've had that one before, which is why I didn't read it what out, guys. Yes. My will alone. Destruction. Now. I mean, I'm fairly sure you can guess what's about to happen here, guys. I hunt. You dare. Tomb scum. What do you have to say to me that would not affront I am no child. Okay, if you don't want to become my vassal, you will fall. Before we do this, however. True savage. The gods might compel me to kill, but I do it freely. Let me throw them just a Fine. small payment just to keep upping this a bit more. The issue they're having is me being friends with the other tribes, and they're all notoriously. War it is. Turn them to death. God, this is uh, getting a bit ridiculous. I'm sure we've got another level 4 somewhere. Oh, but we can start leveling you up, so we'll get that going. Might even drop the walls there, but not right now. It is forbidden. What vile filth! Who will tra can trade with us and who is friendly enough to trade with us? Defender of the Ever Queen. These guys, weirdly. Oh no, no, sorry, I wasn't. I thought they were the elves there. Assassinate that Empire Captain. Oh, God damn it. You can sit over here just to keep an eye on things. Fresh troops. Insolence. Extra growth, unsurprisingly. Need more minions. Hmm. Let's buff your spells. I'm still finding the fact that I'm relatively friendly with the wood elves a bit um, strange. But I'm not complaining too much. Um, I'm a little annoyed by these guys expanding into here, but I've got no desire to go to war with the Dreadfleet. In fact, I'm more than happy to stay friendly with the Dreadfleet. Uh, for the time being, anyway. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll batter some of their agents. I could probably push them out, but... There's no real benefit to it for me at this point. Um... Depend well, it depends how big Karsakone is, though. I'll do much better by hitting the em invading the Empire of the Elves. Um. The danger of invading the Empire is I will open up a lot of new fronts. And I probably, if I go for the Empire, I probably have to finish the Empire. If I go for the Elves, Elves are horrible to fight, but I'm fairly sure I can overwhelm them in quick succession. But it's not great territory, so it's a tricky one. I could just try and keep the elves on side. Um, that said, if I keep these guys on side, they will almost certainly be pressuring the elves. So actually, that's a good way to keep the elves off my back. The issue with the empire is I suspect there's a twisting knot of various alliances over there. Um, and as I said, if we push into our, our star area, that actually gives us quite a good area to push from. And we can potentially link up with the vampire counts and uh, confederate them even. So, 
or vassalise them. But we're building up nicely. What I really need to get, I need to get somewhere to level 5 so I can actually start doing some proper high-end recruitment. That said, we've got awesome armies and I can easily push out another army like this now. Already, to be fair. Um, let's have a look. This better be important. 4,000, so we could push another one. I don't want to, but... I think he's got this. There we go, and this. Ah, so if you go for this one, it blocks up this one. So if I either want him to be a cavalry general... Ooh, now that does lead to a tricky decision because if I get that one, do I really need that one? Long run, the Blood Knights are going to be better and I would prefer to have lots of Blood Knights. Ooh, I can get him a Hellsteed as well. Hmm... We're going to unlock this one to start with, because that's still going to help, because we do have a unit of Blood Knights in here, which become cheaper. I mean, it would have made this army much cheaper doing the other one, but... See, 50% Blood Knights, 50% thingies would be an awesome setup, and that makes them... They're still more expensive, to be fair, but they are a bit cheaper. I will allow. Moving. Now. Move. I'm not sure where I want you. Dance, Macab. This night, march. I will not betray you. Let's try and take him out. Nicely done. I will listen to the groveling. Okay, I can get away with hitting one of their agents. up for the extra recruitment slots to be fair I do want more walls I want a really strong garrison here to be fair I'm escaping. still friends with me even though I keep battering their agents Norska a negotiating vampire is like a dog trying to please its master a certainty we're getting there. Tribal fury. Northmen come. How much do I actually make from vassals at the moment? Which isn't. Gr I mean, they're never going to be the best ones to make money from because they're not hugely rich territories. Anyway, guys, this is where we're going to have to leave this one. So we've got basically Bretonia is pacified now. I'm going to leave the elves be for now because they're friends with me for some weird reason. And we're going to build up, and as I said, it's either going to be invading the Empire or the Elves. I've got to decide which. Um, the Empire is potentially better territory, and I would be able to cut Altdorf in very quick succession, which I suspect would yeah, come to me at, a very, at at least level 4, if not level 5. And we could definitely take this territory, then, then force a peace treaty on them. Um, let's have a look who they're friends with, actually, first. Are they allied? Speak. I will hear you now. They're allied with the dwarves, the but I don't, I've dark. not met the dwarves yet, and Kirikhern, but I've got plenty of people who I could uh, use to drag myself into this war. Also, it would give us much closer relations with the other vampires. Um, let's have a look at what we can do with them at the Lord moment. Of the dead. What dost thou wish to discuss with thine true father? For now, we will give them a non aggression pact. Before I, Vlad von Karsta. They look to be fairly powerful, so they could end up being quite a tricky thing to fight. So actually, yeah, I think this is my next move. 
We'll build up a bit. We'll get this army sorted out. But we'll build up and we'll prepare for our push into here. We don't have to do it all in one go. We can take Helmgart and we can let them break on us. So, uh, anyway, that's our next move. Anyway, as I was saying, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, please feel free to pop any comments in the comments. Or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments in the description. As well as, well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Fanatical, um, who sell games. Um... And uh, Overclockers UK, who sell PC equipment, uh, for those in the UK, I'm fairly sure will know. Uh, so please, please go and have give them a check out if you are looking getting any games or any PC equipment, because it does help to support the channel. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys.